My name is Lizzie Herrera, Program Associate in the Horticulture Department for the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. Welcome to part five of our RCA series, where we'll show you an alternative way to train blackberries on an RCA trellis system. In our previous video, we showed you the traditional method of training blackberries on an RCA trellis. Over the past five years, Research has been conducted at the Fruit Research Station in Clarksville, Arkansas, comparing the use of an RCA trellis system versus the standard T trellis. During this time, alternative training methods have been developed and tested in order to determine if there's a more efficient way to train on the RCA. One of the methods developed by our team has been coined the fan method, where instead of bending the primocanes, they're tipped at or just above the bottom training wire. The emerging laterals would then be trained on the short arm in a fan-like manner to provide maximum canopy coverage. The idea behind this method is to reduce the amount of labor needed compared to the primocane bending method and to produce more lateral growth. Closer plant spacing at around three feet is likely needed to support maximum canopy coverage of the canes on the trellis. First, choose your primocanes. Similar to the traditional method, you want to select primocanes that are healthy and have a good diameter. You also want to be aware of the location of the primocanes and be sure to select ones that are between the bottom training wires of the RCA. This ensures the laterals can be easily transferred between the short and long arms and rotated without breaking. Unlike the traditional method, however, you want to keep three to six primocanes per plant. The timing of primocane tipping will vary from year to year based on primocane emergence and growth. We currently recommend tipping once a fair number of primocanes have grown just above the bottom training wire, which usually occurs in May or June. Growers will want to monitor primocane growth while the long arm is laid down in the bloom position. In our trials, we found that tipping too late, for instance in mid-July or later, reduces lateral cane growth which will result in less canopy fill and lower yields in the following year. Growers will need to make several passes over the field to tip primocanes over a period of about a month in order to ensure that all of the primocanes they plan to keep get tipped. When tipping the primocanes, be sure to tip just above a node to compensate for any potential dieback that may occur after tipping. Leaving too much cane after tipping will result in a large dead portion just above the node. Tipping the primocanes will help promote lateral growth upward. As the laterals grow, be sure they remain between the two bottom training wires and are not growing outside of those wires. Similar to the traditional method, we typically don't tie the laterals to the short arm, but use the arm wires as a support to keep laterals out of the row middle. Once the current season's dead floor canes are removed, the new lateral branches will be transferred to the long arm. Tune in for the final part in our RCA video series, where we'll show you what to do with your trained primocanes and laterals after the floricane harvest season is over. Be sure to visit www.uaex.uada.edu forward slash RCA for additional information and resources on using a rotating cross arm trellis in BlackBerry systems. A special thank you to the Arkansas Department of Agriculture and the USDA Specialty Crop Block Grant Program for their support of this project. Thanks so much for watching. 